Hello VC, the wax here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a record mailer. So I mail a lot of records, because I sell records, and not that it's pricey to buy these mailers, but why should you have to buy one if you can make one for almost free? So um, this is a shipping box that... I reappropriated from people that recently moved and I can make four record mailers from this one box. How do you say, do you do that? Did that make sense? I hope it did. Well, first you need some sharp scissors and then you just cut the box into four into fours. You just cut it into the four sides of the box. So, as I back up and try really hard to cut this box before it kills me. Get it on frame. Get it in frame. But you get the picture, right? So now I'm going to cut to me with this box cut into fours and show you how to make the mailer. Okay, peeps. So we cut up that shipping box into four pieces and you only need one of the pieces to make your uh, pack uh, record package that you're going to mail. So. We have an album here, Rod Stewart, Atlantic Crossing. And what I try and do is you already have this crease here. So I line it up there and I just try and, I would say, three or four eighths. Uh, I eyeball it and you just take your um, scissor. I will come back into frame there a little bit and then couple times you just run it down there kind of put an indentation so it folds boom okay then I take my album here and I line it up kind of eyeball it I'm not trying to make this too tough for myself and I have a nice sharpie here and I'm just gonna kind of make some little marks there so I know where I'm gonna again take my handy dandy st steel ruler and just line it up to the to the marks it's a little crooked here just making sure I think the cardboard is crooked okay we'll go by that and then we're going to do two. Just run it down a couple of times. There you have a, where you can make a crease. Flip it around so I can make sure it's the same length as here. Three or four eighths. Quarter of an inch. Do it again. Now obviously this is one album. If you're going to send two albums, you would make this thicker, like a half inch. Boom, there, so watch. Boom, I'll fold it over, fold it over, and there you go. So far, we're almost there. It's very quick to make these things. Okay, since I've already made my little hash marks, I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the ends here. Boom, 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 let's do, do. Okay, there we are. So. And uh, when you're going this way, you're obviously with way, way, the way they made this cor cardboard, you're going to a line, so it's going to be very easy. And I try and follow these corrugated lines here. So for this, I'm just going to go right there. Boom. And that That is the line for the record. And then obviously I'm going to go about a you know, quarter of an inch. Boom. This way. Uh, that was a little thick. But no need to worry. 
Very forgiving. Boom. Okay. Back here again. Make sure I'm in frame there, sorry. Boom. So these fold this way. But you have to, what I usually do is like on this outside, I cut to there and I cut to here. So it folds over like so. Right? Do the same thing on the other side. Cut on the outside indicator that I used with the scissor to make. Don't go all the way down, go boom, there. See, folds over, boom. Easy peasy. You fold over like that, and you fold over like that. Look what you've made. You've made a nice shipping box for your album. And I, I like the fact that it's corrugated. You don't have to put any extra insulation in there if, unless you want to and I like the fact that it has these overlapped things sort of like to prevent it can take the brunt of the shipping like it'll hit this and even though these corners are pretty reinforced you know it's pretty well done and I just um, boom I just tape it across here and here when I ship it and slap my label on there pretty quick way to make a really good album shipping box from a standard shipping box you can buy at any place that sells them staples u-haul whatever um cut it you know you get four out of one box uh this box you know is uh 16 by 16 when you fold it all up but then you know when you cut it into fours, usually, like I live in Los Angeles where people move, I think the average tenancy is two months, month and a half, crazy enough. And these boxes are all over the place, usually near a recycle bin. And try and get them before the homeless people urinate on them. That's always a good thing. But um, there you go. Pretty spiffy, huh? Would you say? So uh, that's that. That's how you make a record mailer. As always, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Tell me what I did right. Tell me what I did wrong. And until next time, the Waxed Out.